Hi everybody, welcome back to our Let's Play of Zack the Kraken and the Alien Mountain Vendors. We last left standing in the San Francisco airport, ready to leave for Seattle to uh, do Zack's job. So let's head out to the plane. And we have a very... Ah, uh, what's the word we're looking for? Not really, not very friendly stewardess in the likely event of a water landing. I like that. So, yeah, this, this airline's not the, uh, the best. Oxygen mask should appear, but don't count on it. Hmm. Not quite sure what to make of that. And she's got a feeling she won't enjoy the flight, which is probably right. Because we're about to do some things to really screw up her day. Because there are some things we need on this plane. So let's go ahead and get started with that. First, we need to go back to the restroom. And we're going to pick up the toilet paper and play a classic prank with it. We're going to use it in the sink. Yes, I know it could clog it up, Zack. Oh darn, whatever will we do? We're going to make a mess. No, no, oh, there's one. Let's get the stewardess to take care of that. Get out of here before she yells at us. So oh, now we'll go back up to the front of the plane while she's dealing with that mess that we made. Sabotaged sink stifle screeching stewardess. Oh yeah. And let's be fair. There's all you. If, if any of you have ever been on a plane before, you've wanted to... Oh, I didn't want to open egg. Use the egg in the microwave. There we go. Turn on the microwave and we go sit down. <laughs> She's gonna be mad. Now, did everybody hear that? That's important. What's that awful smell? There she goes. And I will not do this because. That would be way too loud, and I'd probably blow your eardrums, and I don't want to do that, because that would that would hurt you as the viewer, and I'm not down with that. I'm sounding really dumb right now, but that's okay. So we'll pick up that cushion, and then a lighter, which we're going to need. Then we have to go back here, past all these passengers who... It is randomized. I had already recorded this video once and um, had made a point of musing about whether or not the location of this was randomized and I thought it wasn't. But apparently it does change. You need this oxygen tank later in the game. But we won't worry about that now. Now we're just going to sit down and enjoy the rest of our flight while she complains about the mess in the oven. Or actually, I'm going to hit a button and skip the rest of the flight because I'm impatient and don't feel like waiting. We are now landing. Prepare to disembark. It's been a joy having you aboard. Have a nice day. It's been a joy being here and ruining your day. Let's check this newsstand. Oh, we're going back to the secret room. Ooh, baby, I'm a jailhound dog, loving meat, tenderizing rockery in my blue suede. This guy is screwing up Elvis. And what do you think you're doing? I'm grooving into the king. Stop it this instant. You're supposed to be watching the machine, not dancing like a gloon. What is a gloon? Sorry. There is still a chance, a very small chance that someone will discover and activate the Scalarian device. Plot point, it's the only thing that could stop us. Of course, we will soon be in control and won't have to worry. 
But until then, keep your mind on the job. Whatever you say, boss. Hmm. See ya. Don't be cool to my heartache couple. Just treat my lies cause I'm all shaken up. He's really doing awful things to, to Elvis music. Coeds discover mile-long face on Mars. It's still saying the same thing for now because we haven't really done anything. Now, if we go over here, there's our two-headed squirrel. See? Let me think. What would be a good headline? How about two-headed squirrel attacks tabloid reporter? Maybe two-headed squirrel devours Seattle and Tacoma. Vicious tabloid reporter turns two-headed squirrel into monster. I hate my job. I'm sure we have all said that before at one time or another in our lives. But we're going to up this tree branch. Crunch. And now we need to get this two-headed squirrel out of the way. Otherwise, he's, he's going to bite us when we try and do something. And we don't want to get by a two-headed squirrel. That's, that's twice the pain. So let's go ahead and give him our peanuts. We're not going to eat them. They're probably stale. It took them and left. That was what we wanted him to do. Now, we need to get in here. See, we've got some loose dirt. So let's use that loose dirt with... I am lagging. Why am I lagging? There we go. Let's use the loose dirt and somewhere in my inventory. There it is. Use the tree branch with the loose dirt. After digging for a long time. Yeesh, that was a lot of work. Yes, it was. Look at the size of the cave he dug out with that thing. I mean, geez. It's still daylight. He's, that's pretty good. And now, these parts of the game are always annoying to me. I hate dark room where you can't figure out where you're supposed to go. But that's why they gave us the what is. So we use the tree branch with the fire pit. And we what is around here a little bit. There's something we need. Oh, come on. Oh, was that... No. Maybe I can light the tree branch for a little bit of light. Where'd the lighter go? If we use the lighter on the branch, if we use the lighter on the branch, nothing. He needs some kindling. So we need to go over here. And this is just annoying. Oh wait, I've got the... I had the use command up. Strange markings. We can't do anything with that yet. Where the heck is it? Ah, there it is. The abandoned bird nest. We need that. Oh, jeez. Okay, I may have done something stupid here. Let's see if we can... Okay, yeah. I was able to use it with the golf club. What I should have done is found the bird's nest first and used the tree branch on it. But luckily, I bought the golf club, so I didn't have to worry about that. But now we use the lighter on the fire pit, which is around here somewhere. There we go. And boom. Light. Nice cave. Two-headed squirrel is back. Now, you, you can actually use butter knife on the two-headed squirrel, but I'm not going to do that. He's, he may be a freak of nature, but I mean, he's, he's a cute little guy. I'm not going to kill that. I'm not going to kill him. We're going to go to the strange markings, and we're going to have a Pee Wee Herman moment. That's the yellow 
Get the guts. La la la. Oh. We opened the door. So if we go in here. Now you'll notice that this has a sensor much like Zach's TV set. So. Well, don't use the sensor. Use the remote. Con use yellow. Fail. Use the remote control. Aha. I guess I chose the right channel. Yes, you did, Zach. Yes, you did. It looks like an artifact. Well, that's because it is. And now, what do we know that we're supposed to do with artifacts? Well, we have to go back to San Francisco to do it. So, we're going to head back to the airport. We're done here. You will never see Seattle again. We're going to use the reservations terminal to buy a ticket to San Francisco. And we're going to leave. An enjoyable flight later. So this flight was better than the last one. Now let's check the newsstand again. Two-headed squirrel on ravenous rampage in the Pacific Northwest. He does his job quick, you know? He just got back and there's already a headline. So now, we're going to head to 14th Avenue. We're going to pass Lou's Loans. And we're going to go right here. Society for Ancient Wisdom. Deposit artifacts in slot. And that, my friends, we shall do in the next part of our series. We'll see you then, people. Have a good day.